Hello and welcome to our 18th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating device that plays a crucial role in motorsports and time trials, the lap timer sensor. Whether you're a racer or just a fan of speed, understanding this technology will help you appreciate the precision behind racing. So, let's dive in. First, let's understand what a lap timer sensor is. Simply put, it's a device that measures the time it takes for a vehicle to complete a lap on a track. Imagine you're in a race and you want to know how quickly you can go from start to finish. The lap timer sensor does just that. It tracks your lap time with incredible accuracy. Now, why is this sensor important? Think about it like this. In any race, knowing your lap time can help you improve your performance. Just like when you're studying for an exam and you time yourself while practicing, racers need to know how fast they're going. A lap timer sensor provides valuable data that helps drivers make decisions during a race, like when to push harder or when to conserve speed. The lap timer sensor is often located in the dashboard or instrument cluster for easy visibility of lap times. Infrared sensors may be mounted on the windshield or front bumper while magnetic sensors can be placed on the underbody to detect track markers. GPS-based sensors are typically positioned on the roof or rear of the vehicle to ensure a strong satellite signal. There are mainly three types of lap timer sensors. 1. Infrared sensors. These use light beams to detect when a car passes through the starting line. 2. Magnetic sensors. These sensors use magnets and are placed on the track to detect the vehicle's movement. 3. GPS sensors. These sensors use satellite signals to track the car's position and speed around the track. Each type has its own advantages, but all serve the same purpose to measure lap times accurately. Let's break down how the lap timer sensor works step by step. First, let's talk about the start line. When a car approaches the starting point, the lap timer sensor is ready to begin its job. Imagine you're at a running race. The whistle blows and you start running. Similarly, the sensor detects when the car crosses the start line and that's when the timing begins. Once the car crosses the start line, the sensor starts counting the time. Think of it like a stopwatch you use when you want to time your cooking. Just as you start the stopwatch when you put the pot on the stove, the sensor begins timing the moment the car starts its lap. While the car is racing, the lap timer sensor continuously monitors its progress. It's like keeping track of your friends while playing a game of hide and seek. The sensor knows exactly where the car is on the track at any given moment. As the car nears the finish line, the sensor gets ready to stop the timer. Imagine you're playing a video game and you reach the end of a level. The moment you cross that finish line, the sensor stops the timing just like you would pause a game when you finish. Finally, when the car crosses the finish line, the sensor stops the timer and displays the lap time. It's like when you check your watch after a workout to see how long you took. This lap time helps drivers understand their performance and identify areas for improvement. After the lap, the collected data can be analyzed by the team. Just like you review your test scores to see where you can improve, racers look at their lap times to make adjustments for the next race. This feedback is essential for better performance. And that's how a lap timer sensor works. From detecting the start line to displaying the final lap time, each step is crucial for racers to track their performance. We hope this explanation has helped you understand the technology behind lap timing. So how do you know if your lap timer sensor is failing? Here are a few signs to look out for. If the times recorded seem off or inconsistent, that's a red flag. If the display doesn't show any time when the vehicle crosses the line, the sensor may be faulty. Some advanced systems may display error codes indicating sensor issues. If you suspect your lap timer sensor is faulty, you can test it yourself. Here's how. Make sure all wires and connections are secure. Loose connections can lead to faulty readings. Take your vehicle for a short lap. Compare the sensor's time with a manual stopwatch. If they don't match, the sensor may be malfunctioning. If available, use diagnostic tools or apps designed to communicate with the sensor for more detailed analysis. Understanding your lap timer sensor can significantly enhance your racing experience, whether you're a professional or a hobbyist. And that's a detailed look at the lap timer sensor. We hope you now have a better understanding of how they work and their importance in your vehicle. Our next video in this series will be on exhaust gas temperature sensor. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more automotive tutorials. Thank you for joining us today. Keep racing smart and see you next time.